All right, guys, uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at parallelograms. Now, this is the start of a topic on quadrilaterals, four-sided shapes. Now, the, the backbone to quadrilaterals is parallelograms. We're going to see a lot of different parallelogram stuff. We're going to kind of learn from parallelograms. We're going to take that out, and we're going to learn about other shapes, like rhombuses and trapezoids and squares and rectangles. Um, so that's where we're headed. Uh, but right now, we're just going to look at this delta math on parallelogram properties. Now, in this delta math, you just need to solve for angles. Now, there's two rules you need to know about parallelograms uh, when we're dealing with them. So, the first one is, is that angles opposite each other are equal. So, when I have a parallelogram, now you might be saying, what's a parallelogram? A parallelogram is a four-sided shape that has parallel sides. Remember, those arrows mean parallel. Okay, Parallel means they're going in the same direction. Okay, So I've got two sets of parallel sides. Now, when I'm dealing with parallelograms, inside the parallelogram, angles opposite each other are equal. Angles next to each other add up to 180. Those are the two rules you need to know. So let's take a look here. So if this is 55 at F at angle D, it's also going to be 55 degrees. Now, angles opposite each other are equal. Angles next to each other, or uh, consecutive, sometimes the word we use, add up to 180. So what I'm going to do here is 180 minus 55. And what I get is 125. All right? And let me go ahead and plug that in right here, 125. OK, and let's check that answer. And very good, OK? So notice. Notice it says parallelogram consecutive. Angles next to each other are supplementary. Remember, supplementary means they add to 180. So let's look at another problem here. Uh, we just saw one just like that. Okay, so here's another one. I've got angles next to each other. So what am I going to do? I'm going to do 180 minus 125. Okay, and I get 55. All right, so that should be pretty easy. All right, and let's look at one where we see angles opposite each other. Okay, so this is a great example. Notice in this case, my angles are opposite. I've got one here at G. I've got one here at E. Angles opposite to each other are just equal. So you just put in 120, okay? And, and that's really all there is to it, guys. Uh, if the angles are opposite each other like this, they would be equal. If they're next to each other, they add up to 180. It's that simple here to start off with parallelograms. So uh, hopefully this is helpful, but this ends, wraps up our review on the parallelogram properties here in Delta Math.